Let's take a look at some of my top DeFi projects. First and foremost, we can talk about GMX. This is a decentralized perpetual exchange. I've made countless videos on them and I have been providing liquidity on GMX for about a year and a couple months now. And it's actually crazy that it's been so long. So if we take a look at this GLP position, this is exactly what I have done. I put in about $1,200 of my own money into this. So obviously this investment, the amount of money that's invested in GLP is down by about $150 here because the price of GLP has gone down because if you're unfamiliar with this, GLP is essentially made out of Bitcoin, Ethereum, AVAX because I am on the Avalanche chain as well as stable coins. So because the market has gone down, obviously the value of GLP has gone down. But because I am providing liquidity here, I was able to basically cash out about 15 AVAX. And right now you can see I only have 0.14 AVAX available because I recently just cashed that out. So in about a year and let's say a couple months, I made 15 AVAX off of $1,200, which isn't that bad at all in my opinion. And if we take a look at, let's say 15 AVAX, what it's worth right now, it's only $200. But if you put it in the grand scheme of things and you take a look at AVAX when it was during the bull market, AVAX was around $100, even all the way up to $140. So. If AVAX were to go up to, let's say $100, I've made 15 over the last year, well, that would be about $1,500, just pure profits. So I'm just holding my AVAX, hoping that the price of AVAX goes back up, and if it does, well, I may sell some for profits. But again, I really do like GMX. I mean, I'm not even thinking about this money. The value of my GLP has gone down slightly, but I am just still making some passive AVAX, and I still I hate myself for not using the Arbitrum chain on GMX because my airdrop could have been so much better on Arbitrum. Now, if we talk about project number two, and these are in no specific order, we can take a look at Momentum Finance. And if you're unfamiliar with this one, it's actually the DeFi arm of Alpha Shares. Now, if Alpha Shares doesn't ring a bell for you, you should probably look it up because they just completed a massive mint out of 3,000 NFTs, each of them worth $1,000. So they were able to raise $3 million for their operations down in Paraguay. That includes Bitcoin mining as well as antimony refining. So essentially people who own these NFTs are going to be getting monthly rewards or monthly drops of wrapped BTC for them. Because of course, if you own one of these NFTs, that is the benefit of having it. And this is probably going to be worth around 100 to to $150 per month based on some of these assumptions that we've seen. So the cool thing about Momentum and tying this back together is that Momentum actually owns 400 of those NFTs and those profits or those monthly rewards are going to go to the people who are staking in the singularities and best believe I am staking in the singularities. So currently I have most of my mass tokens in this singularity pool. And as you can see, I have 1,255 tokens in there. And if we take a look at my ownership of this singularity pool, we can see I own 0.16%. Now to do some quick math here and just to kind of make you guys understand how big this opportunity actually is, well, if we say that these 400 NFTs are going to bring in $400 per month, that would mean that it's about $40,000 per month just from those NFTs and the operations they have down in Paraguay. This does not include the other investments that the treasury is actually doing in momentum here. And of course, every time they are making money, they are distributing that back to singularity holders. So if we just take a look at the 
NFT side of things. So 40K a month. And because I own 0.16%, if we do that times 40,000, which is again, the estimated revenue of these NFTs, I would be entitled to $64 a month if that is the case. So obviously this is another way of getting involved with those operations down in Paraguay. And I am definitely keeping an eye out on this and I have been adding a bit more recently. So I am also providing liquidity to their liquidity pool. So I own about 3% of their liquidity pool and I'm earning some rewards for doing that as well. If we move on to project number three, we can talk about MDB and MDB has been doing very well throughout this entire bear market. And if we take a look at exactly what the token price is here, we can see, I mean, it has been doing very, very well. Like I said, it hit an all-time high around 0.018 and it went back down, but it has been hovering around this range for the better part of the entire bear market. And they are continuing to build. I mean, if we take a look at their Xenia, which is essentially their farms, what they offer here, they are also building out a completely new project, which is called Foxify, which is a decentralized perp exchange. I made a full video on that one as well. So if you want to check that out, definitely do so. But again, these are kind of the farms that are available here. So there is just so much going on here and I've made some pretty good money with MDB. I'd say about a couple hundred, if not more. And I do also have one of their NFTs and I am earning MDB on a monthly basis. But again, just taking a look at the token chart itself, it has sustained quite well during the bear market, which not too many projects actually have. So last but not least, I just wanted to quickly highlight Vela because this is coming back to life. They had a public beta, they shut it down and now their official launch is around the corner. And in my opinion, the Vela token is probably gonna take off once again when this launches. I mean, I invested in Vela at around 90 cents right before the initial launch of the Vela or the initial uh, public beta. I invested in Vela before it was DXP. So of course I am up here. Vela went all the way up to about $7 back in the beta. I do believe there's gonna be some very good price action on Vela when it launches again. But this is another one of my DeFi projects that I'm invested in. I've made some pretty good money on it as well. So I just wanted to highlight that here too. So those are kind of the four projects I wanted to specifically talk about. These have been the ones I am keeping an eye on the most. Some obviously have just completely failed and I've disregarded completely and others, I mean, I only have a few hundred dollars in and they're not making too much. And I am also just holding a specific coins as well. So let me know your thoughts on DeFi projects. Which ones are you holding? Which which ones are making you the most money? Let me know down in the comment section below. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.